channel my name is Jill and today I am going to be doing my first thoughts and review kind of what's in my bag of the new Dagny Dover Vita Tote in a small size this is in the color Skyway and it's from the newest season I just got this two days ago and I have been using it since it came in the mail um, this bag is amazing, literally. If there was ever a bag for a mom who had to carry things for children or anybody, I guess, this bag is it. This is so awesome. Um, it is a cotton canvas, I think. And the color, when it first came, it's not quite as light as I thought it would be, but you can see I'm wearing a white shirt right now and it's a really pretty blue. I guess I think maybe it just looks you know a little bit different because it's on the website and when you get it you know it is it's not always the same um, but I really love this bag so this bag has a short straps and then some longer shoulder straps either way is nice to carry um, I usually carry on my shoulder unless I'm going in to a store by myself, then I would use the short straps. This I would consider the back side of the bag, um, just because any type of pocket that's open like that, I usually turn towards myself. Um, and then this is what I would consider the front of the bag. So there's two pockets. They're in the front, they're really large pockets. And the inside is like a coated canvas. And then again, on the back side is you're gonna it's going to be another two really large pockets, but then also a really tall, uh, long pocket. You can put your phone in it, which I'm not, um, I don't have my phone in there right now because I'm recording on it. I prefer my phone over my camera, so I generally am using that now. Um, but it will fit in here, and that is generally where I will keep it, is in this phone pocket, and it goes quite a ways down. So I'm going to start in the front and then I'm going to show you what I've got in these pockets and then we'll look at the inside as I unpack it. So on the front side I have the book I'm reading from one of my favorite book series. This is the third book of it, Gabriel's Rapture. Oh, I love this book. I love this series and they actually have been making the movies um, on a website called Passion Flicks that I watch. Um, and they have three of the movies up right now. So that is one of my favorite books. And then I've also got a uh, small set piece from Jujube. And this just has like my lotion, some rose balm, a reusable straw, and some perfume. I'm going to try not to make a huge mess as I'm doing this today. So now I'm going to flip it around to the back side again. On the back side, I, like I said, I keep my phone right here. And then this next pocket, other big one, I've just got some things for my kids. So I've got a mini play pack for my daughter, a Sophia the First, like, search and find book, and a little dinosaur book. My son is five, well, one of my sons is five, um, and I tend to carry things for him as well because there's times where we have to go pick up the kids, um, and after preschool, he's sitting in the car being bored. Um, so he could use any of these. He doesn't really care. A book is a book. The same for my daughter. She really doesn't care, and she loves dinosaurs. So I've got those in that pocket. And then in this other pocket, I have my planner, which I've shown previously. This is my favorite planner. It's really small and I love it because it looks like an old book and I am a big reader. I love to read books. So I love that my planner looks like a book. And that is all I have in the outside pockets. So here is going to be an inside look at this bag. And I have been using it, so it has not been cleaned out. So this is what it looks like right now. So 
So I'm gonna unload it and show you what I've got in here. And then we'll look at the inside. I have a small bottle of water. I generally will carry a reusable bottle. I very rarely have uh, plastic bottles with me, but I do today. And then I have, it's currently unzipped. This is the sky pouch, something, it's, I guess it's good for travel. I cannot remember the exact name. I think it's the sky pouch. I'll try to stick it up somewhere on the screen what it's actually called. Um, and this is in the same color. It's the same type of material. And if you can see, close up. I don't know if you can really see the material, but it's just that canvas again. And this is a really nice big tote. It zips to the side about here. And in here I have a mask. Um, a little prayer for somebody. If you see somebody you feel like it's having a tough day or you just want to cheer them up, it's a little prayer. And then you can write a note on the back and leave it for them. I've got my daughter's sunglasses. She does actually wear sunglasses. She hates having the sun in her face. So I always try to keep them with me. I've got another mask. And then this is what the inside looks like. So there's three card slots. And then there's also a clip for your keys or I guess whatever you want to clip on in there. And then this back pocket here, which there is a pocket in it, Velcros. I've just got some extra cash stuck in there. Um, and if I'm just taking this and I want it to be secure, I could clip my wallet to it or my keys, um, but you can also attach it to the key leash, this bag itself, um, to the key leash in the bag. It's a nice little pouch. I've heard really good things about it and I like using it now. So I have, this is my keep going first aid kit. And I have removed the label because it was like a brown leather. And I just didn't really like how it looked with this really pretty tie dye, but the tie dye looks really nice with the bag. So this is just my first aid kit, it comes with pretty much everything in here. I've just removed a couple things out of it and put a few things that I like to carry in it. So this is just some like powder Tylenol for my daughter, my oldest daughter. Um, and then I've added in some like butt cream and some wet ones, some electrolyte powder in case one of my kids gets sick. But other than that, it's got pretty much everything you need, including stickers to help with the boo-boos. I have my Longchamp coin purse and this, I really don't know what the name of this pattern is called, um, but inside it's just like always my little electronic type things. So I've got my AirPods, I've got a remote for my phone camera, but I also have this one as well that attaches to my tripod. I've got... This is um, an extra charger for my phone. Just pops right in the bottom and it's really convenient. And then this is also a piece for my tripod for my phone. So I generally pretty much always have those with me now um, because if I'm not trying to vlog something or film something, I'm taking videos of my kids. I have... <laughs> A plastic baggie with some Teddy Grimms for my one-year-old daughter. That was just a little snack. I usually have a snack bag in there, um, but today I just grabbed them and threw them in there. And then I've also, let me see if I can show you. This comes with a little like thermal pouch, this little black thing in here. And that, that will unsnap and come out, but in there I've got my daughter's sippy cup and you can, like I said, remove it or you can snap it in. Um, I suppose sometime I might remove it, but as of right now, it's working really well for me as a place to put my drinks and not have them spilling. 
All right. And then on this, there's a clip right here. On this clip, I just got, if I can get it off, this is my Sani clip. Um, it's from the company that makes the Lippy clip and I have one of those as well. But this one I've just got my hand sanitizer in. This is a spray one this time. Um, and I believe I received an email saying that they were discontinuing this size, but they still have the smaller sizes. And then I've got, this is a key leash that the bag comes with. This one is not really stretchy because it's not the same material as the other bags. And then I just have this, which is my Vera Bradley card case. Um, and on the back side is my ID. Uh, this is a really big case. Like it doesn't look like it, but I've got three cards here. I've got my ID back here in this ID window and then behind it, there's another pocket. And that's where I've got some like insurance cards. And then it's got this nice big spot in the middle that has like some cash and more cards. And I know this video is not really about this, but this is a really awesome wallet. And I just removed the keychain that it came with because I don't like those circle ring ones. And I've got plenty of things to clip them to. So that is what's on this. Um, and then we've got some pockets. So let me show you these pockets. These ones right here are two slip pockets. And in here I've got a pill case that I got from the Target dollar spot. You just click the button and it switches to whatever you're trying to get to. And then I've got my pen and a pair of travel scissors. And then on the other pocket, I have, excuse the noise, uh, they're doing some cementing out on the street across from us. Um, so in here, it's just like a little, the things that came in it were a nail kit. So, but I just got my lip balm, some nail clippers, travel scissors again, a band-aid and like a hair tie because I have long hair and I need hair ties all the time. And then on the other side, there is another large pocket that Velcros. And in this side, um, I just have a disposable changing pad, a diaper, and a thing of wipes. And I've been keeping that in there. This currently has been my quick trip bag. Um, this is for when we get in the car to go sit in line at the school to wait for my other kids to get out. Um, it's a little bit of a wait if you want to be closer to the front line and I like picking my kids up right when they get out so I always tend to go a little bit early. Um, so it's nice to have this big bag that I can throw snacks into um, and drinks and anything to keep them from getting bored. Um, and I forgot to show you but these pockets actually come up. They're not attached at the bottom. I I suppose that could give you more room. Um, I don't know that I would ever put something behind them unless I was trying to hide it. So, but this has been like just a perfect bag for me as being a mom bag. Um, and I love carrying this with me. Highly recommend it. Um, the bottom is encoded canvas as I drop things out of my bag again. Oh, it was a fidget spinner. Um, so this is a coated canvas. So this is like smoother and easy to wipe off. So if you're setting it on the floor or something, it's going to help with keeping the bag from getting super dirty. But if you look, the coated canvas only goes to here. So you're still going to have these pieces of your bag with the possibility of getting dirty. Um, so if you're like me, don't put it on the floor. Uh, if you don't mind and you don't mind trying to um, clean it, then sure, to each their own. Um, and then I just realized I forgot one more pocket. So on this pocket with the two slip pockets, there's a zipper pocket as well. And in here, I've just got some boogie wipes and some wet ones. Oh, and a glass nail file. So that is what I have in this bag. 
like I said, I've had it for about two days, two or three days, I think. Um, and I've been using it nonstop since. Um, oh gosh, it's just so convenient. I really, really love this. And I actually wanted one of these for a really long time. So I am really happy that I made the investment in it. And again, I would highly recommend it. It's a great bag. Thank you.